So we're going to take a moment. We're going to do a little study break. Now, normally with a study break, you actually take a break. This time, we're taking a break from going over images to study. Hence, study break. I want to get some more of this understanding modifiers thing into your systems. I don't know why. This feels like really nice right now, actually. It's kind of awesome. OK, on my left hand, or in my left hand, I have the, this is the Interfit STR110 Strobies $12 little uh, reflector thingamajig. Yeah, it kind of looks like a bib, actually. Like, I'd put my head through this, and then my, my head's not big enough or small enough to go through there. And then on the right side, I have the F-stopper flash disk. Now, both of these, as you saw in my awesome intro, they fold out to be quite small, OK? So they both fold out to be pretty small. And they both look like they roughly do the same thing. So maybe I should have both of these. No, not really. You really don't need both of these. Now, what I want to do is help you guys to analyze these two light modifiers kind of off of the store shelf before we take them home, before we use them. Let me show you how each one of them would be applied to the lens. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, let's, let's put this guy on. I'm just going to remove my hood so it's a little bit easier to get it around this gigantic lens. I have the 85 on right now. So all I'm going to do is put this right around that little lens. And then if I want to, I can put my hood back on. And this is it. Now this is how this guy works. OK, so if I go ahead and just pop off a little shot right here, take a look. Let me power this up so that the flash duration is longer. OK, you guys seeing that? Awesome. Now, what I'm going to do now is switch, swip, switch these two things out. So let's go ahead and uh, swap them. I wanted to say swap or switch, and instead I said swip. That's all right. I have all sorts of slips across the course of this. Oh, no! <laughs> I dropped it. I'll get it. OK, I am back. Hello. Welcome back to Pi Time. OK, what we're going to do is put the f-stopper flash disk on. Make sure it's not backwards, too. I'm going to pull on the little tongue, apply it over the head. And there we go. So with this guy applied, now let's go ahead and take a look at what this guy does. OK. Cool. So. Just in looking at the way that these two different light modifiers are applied over the flash, we can get an idea of what they're going to do. Let's study it. First, we have that kind of very similar white diffusion fabric on both of these, right? We have it on this, we have it on this. But here's one thing. With this Interfit Strobies whatever guy, this goes directly over the lens and then this covered the flash head. But did you notice how close it was to the flash head? That distance from the flash head means that really it's not going to make the light source that much larger. It will provide a little bit of diffusion because it's now going through fabric, but it doesn't increase the size of the light source. Which means that I would think before even using this, when I got this, I thought, you know, because the way that it's positioned in the flash head, it's not really increasing the size of the light source. That means that my flash is probably still going to be rather hard. The edge transition, the shadow from, or the uh, transition from shadows to highlights is still going to be hard, but it might have a little bit of diffusion, so it might be a little bit less specular. I'm not sure if I really like that. Then when I got this guy, I thought, okay, this is fantastic because now the light is bouncing up and around this silver, all around these edges right here. And then it's refracting off the center of this and then coming out of this large white modifier in the center. So the difference is, is that we've actually opened up the size of the light source quite a bit. So in studying that, I thought, okay, this will probably give me a much more diffused or soft light than something like this guy would. And when we put it into practice, that's exactly what we got. Okay, so what are we taking this break for? Because again, I want to hammer these points home that you guys can look at a modifier, look at the color of it. Is it white? Is it matte? Is it silver? Is it reflective? Is it larger? Or is it going to enlarge the light source? Or is it placed too close to the flash where it really doesn't make the light source any bigger? And you can guess what it's going to do before you actually have to purchase it. So let's show you guys these two modifiers in practice. And by the way, the Strobies, this little guy is like 12 bucks. This guy is 50 bucks. So obviously, there's a big difference in price. But, you know, to be honest, I wouldn't really use this unless I were in a pinch or unless I needed a bounce. 
to be honest, it's probably a better bounce than anything because I can hold it through this little loop right here and bounce my flash off of it and get a really nice light. So for that, it'd be really nice. Okay, so let's now talk about the camera settings for this shot. Now, for both of these, what we want to do was basically take a shot with the flash power at full power, okay? We want to retain all of our detail in the shot, which meant that we had to basically find camera settings and a flash setting that would give us all the detail. We're not going to blow out or clip anything. And that way in post-production, what we could do is basically get the skin tones to the exact same exposure and see how much light loss there was between each of these modifiers. Now, once again, if we just think about this, this went directly over the flash. The flash was right be in, in, in behind it. So when we fire, it's not really increasing the size of the light that much, which means that this would probably have a little bit less light loss than this guy because this guy opens up the flash and it increases the light source, which means with a larger light source, we're losing a little bit of power. And that's exactly what we got in the shot. So for both of these, we are firing at full power on the flash head, okay? With both of them, we also have the Singray five-stop neutral density filter because again, we wanna cut down the amount of light that's available so we can get our sync speed slow enough to be able to synchronize with the flashes without using high-speed sync. We're at an exposure level where basically we're not blowing anything out, we're not clipping any detail, and we fire the shot both with an 85 millimeter lens on both these, the 5D Mark III, at 1 125th of a second at f1.6 and ISO 200. Now, what was the result? When we got this into post, she was a little bit brighter in this bottom image than she was in the top image, okay? The top image is featuring the f-stopper flash disc, the bottom one is featuring this little interfit strobies. So when we even these two things out, we can see that basically the strobies puts out enough power where we're able to darken the background by a little bit. How much exactly? It was around one third to one half of a stop. So we were losing about a third to a half a stop more light with the flash disc than with this little strobies. But what about the light quality? Take a look at this. You look at these two sh shots and you're like, ah, oh, those are pretty similar actually, but they're actually really not. When you look closely at the top shot, and we're shooting fairly close to our subject here, this top image, if you look right underneath the, the jawline, you can see the shadow from the f-stopper flash disc is much less pronounced. It's much softer. The transition is much easier. With this bottom shot, look at how strong that shadow is on the bottom. It's a much harder light because again, we're not opening up the light. We're not creating a bigger light source. It's almost direct flash. It just is a little bit less specular than direct flash would be. So, we have more highlights here too because this is a more specular light than this would be because this is opening it up and it's firing through a large white as opposed to this which is keeping it small and just going through white. So here we have a softer light, it's more even all around. We have a beautiful light on the hair. We have overall just a higher quality light with the f-stopper flash disc but we do have a little bit of light loss. We were able to tell all those things. We were able to predict every one of those things before we even put these onto our flash. So again, the point is look at these light modifiers and study them. The primary tips, silver or reflective is gonna mean a strong and a more specular light. White and matte is gonna be basically, well, let's see, we have white matte is gonna be more light as far as intensity of the light and it's gonna be more diffused. Larger light is gonna mean a softer transition between shadow versus highlight and a smaller light is gonna mean a harder transition between shadow and highlight. Between these four things and analyzing the way that it's set up against the flash, we can really guess what it's gonna do before we even go out and buy anything. In addition to trying to save you time and money from buying useless things, we're also trying to show you that when we get to Lighting 201 and Lighting 301, these principles of lighting and modification, they never change. It stays the same across the board. The modifiers might look different. The size of them might be different, but you can always guess what something's gonna do. And you'll get to that point by the end of this workshop.